And uh, now I would like to actually introduce our uh, panelists who are going to be instructors who can teach you something in liberal arts and help you find your new hobby, which you can make your devotee work. So our, our instructors are Dr. Paul Merkley, Shana Anderson, Renata, and myself, Nam. Um, but I will first start off with Renata. Renata, if you can introduce yourself and tell us what you would be teaching um, in a you know few few words uh, so that students understand. Sure. Of course. So my understanding is what we would be providing, and I work generally with a not-for-profit called the Canadian Tapestry and Texture Center. And through that, we would be providing an eight-week hour and a half every week visual art program. I do have a small video, but it would primarily work around sketching and painting uh, with the belief that, you know, just even that sketching, anything done with the hands is very meditative. And depending on the exercises provided, it gives you that sort of calm and provides that sense of connection if you can get multiple people working together. So let me, perhaps I can just run the video if I can share that. You can do that, I'll give you the rights to it. Sure, and it's short and we don't have to watch the whole thing, but I think visually it'll give you a sense of the type of projects rather than me talking to it. Doesn't want to let me, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this was the program, this video um, is a program that was done for seniors. So it would be similar to this, uh, but perhaps less, less intensity or less frequency, but the projects would probably be quite similar. Can you make it full screen? Oh, sure. And sure. share the sound, can you share? Oh, 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 hang on. Yes, it's, it's working, the sound is Can working. Can you hear that? Yeah. You do start to see more online. So that was the reach the program had. So it would be something like this in terms of what's presented. That's how correction is perhaps done on Zoom, right? Or I say correction, but options, visual options. I think we're almost done here. Well, just let me. <laughs> So noisy. Hang on one second here while I, there we go. 
So that's an example of the type of work that we often do, trying to keep it you know, over Zoom, it can, it's not always easy, but we have learned how to do it well. I know we did have, we have had participants that have hearing issues and somehow we find a way. And that, that's the beautiful thing is uh, when a group arrives, you start to recognize what's happening with everyone and then you adapt. I mean, if, if the Zoom experience has taught me anything is you can adapt on the fly. So for our participants that were struggling with the hearing component, uh, we operated through chat with instructors, right? Um, that instructor would, that was assigned to that help that person would specifically watch for chat from them. Um, and I think actually it was quite beautifully uh, operated considering. Any questions or? Oh, this is wonderful, thank you. I will be share, sharing the information via of the via brochure, which will be attached to the email that yes. your recreation managers will get from us. So thank you, Renata. Thank you for yes. your time. Thank you. And it was a pleasure to meet everyone. I'm sorry I do have to, to go, but it was fantastic to meet everyone. And I'm sure we'll chat again. Yes, we will. Thank you, Renata. Thank you. And let me then continue the spirit of introducing you to our instructors. And Shana, the floor is yours. Can you tell us a little bit about your course? Yes. So I'm going to offer a piano group-based program. We'll learn some pieces on the piano, some theory, and do some listening ear training activities as well. And can you share the songs which you told us that they can learn by the end of the introduction? Yeah, we'll start with Amazing Grace and Let It Be, and also Camp Town Races as well. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, and um, Sheena will be continuously like be there in the in, in offering the courses as you want to upgrade your levels. So yeah. Yeah, so we begin with eight weeks, but that's not the end of journey. You can become a piano player in that time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Shana. And moving on. My pleasure. Shana is Paul, who's offering more than a one course. And Paul, the floor is yours. If you can tell us about the courses you're offering. Paul, can you unmute yourself? I muted you. Thank you. I'll be teaching a course in film music. The music in films is very important and we aren't always aware of it. So we'll be looking at a lot of examples, uh, starting with silent film and going right up pretty close to the present, seeing what music does in a scene. And you don't have to be able to read music or know anything about music theory to follow the course. We'll probably hear in a few minutes from Richard who took the course, hear what it was like for him. I'm also teaching a course in Renaissance music. If you're interested in the Renaissance period in history, it all ties together with music and the arts and literature. These are the two fields in which I as a professor did my research and my personal research within the Renaissance music history and in film music. So we've offered both of these courses kind of as a focus group, the small courses, and they've been very successful. I'm very excited about doing it again. Each one has a kind of a workbook or something to read and keep up with. And by the end of it, I think you'll be quite pleased at everything you've learned. I'm also teaching, whether this fall or in the winter, a course in bridge, basic and better bridge, uh, because bridge is a game of purpose and communication and connectedness and well need I say more bridge the author Somerset mom said bridge is a wonderful thing if you're older you can always play bridge you can always enjoy getting better at it and I think that's the part of it as you learn how to bid you become a better and better player and there are ways for you to climb up that ladder thank you Thank you. And uh, Paul and I together are offering a course on creative expression, writing, writing a haiku, writing blogs, because for many people, writing is something that's, uh, they've probably thought about it. And there's a lot of like mental barriers. Can I write? Can I not write? 
So I'm not a trained writer, but I write haiku. And I, Paul actually taught me how to write a haiku. I write poems, just uh, and that's something I learned on my own. And that's uh, something that helps me with coping uh, when there's too much happening. And Paul is a brilliant blog writer. Uh, we can share his blogs and his stories. And he's a storyteller, aren't you, Paul? <laughs> I am. I love to tell stories. Yeah.